So we are here at the Denton Rabbit Creek, and right here near the monument, and right here was set Hartwell Hardaway's home site where the Denton Rabbit Creek Treaty was signed in this area. Mississippi River to the new homeland. 
So most of them tried to talk with him and said, uh, there's any way possible. And said, no, they said, if we don't sign, our people will perish, the children will perish, our elders will perish. So we need to look for our future generations. So we need to sign this treaty. So what they didn't, didn't know is that the government, Washington, D.C., Andrew Jackson gave him some money, knowing that he was going to get the Senate for for the state of Mississippi. So if you want to be a, a, in a Senate for the state of Mississippi, you might have to let your people move. So talk was involved, a lot of bribery was involved, all this stuff. So, so in that time, that's when Greenwood came up here, tried to delegate with his own people, and, and of course he was a manipulator. He liked to do that as well. So when he was doing that, so all the chiefs came together kind of discussing. The only one didn't care for was Greenville of Florida was Mashula Tubby. Mashula Tubby was a very genius and he had a vision for his people. So he knew something was wrong when, when they appointed Greenville of Florida as the chief. And Mashula Tubby said, you know, I might as well just, you know, go ahead and move my people because it's going to happen anyway. And he was trying to warn other chiefs, don't sign the paper. But in a way, it's going to happen. So he, he said, you know what, just give me the paper, I'll sign. I'm going to go ahead and start moving my people because it's going to happen. But I still don't trust this guy, you know. So anyway, he went ahead and started moving on. And other chiefs started to kind of think in the same way. But, you know, some of them was kind of talking amongst themselves. You think he's telling the truth. think we need to sign the paper and so we can move on to save our people. You know, and they're really thinking, I don't know. And then... Uh, Greenwood of Florida said, "Yeah, you got you got the Secretary of War coming in. All the uh, armies is going, all the troops going to come this way. If this paper ain't signed, they're going to perish. All of our people, they're going to take them out of their homes, kill them, and do whatever, you know. So, anyways, just like I said, he was a very manipulative top guy. So he tried to play in their minds. Okay, let's sign the paper. So, anyway, in this area right here, that's where all the chiefs came. All the people in the, in the uh, whole entire district came in this area. So you're looking about." nearly over 2,000 Choctaws all in this area. All the chiefs from different areas and you got the main chiefs like Moshilla Tubby, uh, Greenwood of Florida, and Little Leader. But like I said, Moshilla Tubby's already signed. He didn't want to be here. But so Greenwood of Florida was there kind of probably sitting and watching other sub-chiefs, what would they call them, councilmen, like our councilmen today, sub-chiefs coming in, signing papers. So you kind of thinking like, you know, like uh, all your councilmen coming together, signing this treaty to move all the people into each district home. So you sitting here, you're seeing Greenville, Greenville of Florida sitting there looking at all the chiefs signing the papers. And then when they were signing, it's kind of like him getting dollar signs in his mind. So anyway, so as they signed, so they gave him so much amount of year to move from their homeland. So from the, from right after the signing, from eight, September 27, 1830, from that time after the signing, they got that time to move from here to where we're at today in Oklahoma. So some of them is already moving. Some of them already moved on their own uh, earlier in that time, but a lot of them kind of moved up here because they didn't want to move from their homeland. So as that signed, this was the last treaty here. But anyway, Greenville of Florida, he did a lot of his people dirty. I will say that uh, he stabbed his own people in his back, especially his own family. You know, because he has brothers or. Now chief, like you got Bachelor of Florida, he was chief in, in Oklahoma. And then you have uh, uh, Thomas of Florida, which he was his cousin. He did him dirty too, because they, they were supposed to be close. And he said, here, here's half of it, but you take your people, take off. And he was like, what are you gonna do? So don't tell nobody. So he just sat back and watch all what he did, watch the move westward. So what did he do? He stayed here, built him a mansion in, uh, uh, in what is it, Carroll County. Uh, called Mel Mansion uh, uh, Mansion. It's a two-story house, and if you look at it today, I mean, I've got to say it's nice, but this is kind of what he did to his people. So, so as soon as his people left, Greenwood stayed back, and then he became a senator, as he was promised from the United States. So a lot of them today, if you think about today, everybody asks, where's Greenwood the Florida's picture in in the uh, uh, our Choctaw Nation headquarters or even at the... Uh, uh, community centers. If you hear the history, that's why. He stabbed his own people in the back, watched him leave, and he stayed back, you know. But I went to go pay, uh, see the visit of his uh, uh, marker, and on his tombstone it says, the greatest chief of the east of the Mississippi River of the Choctaw Nation. And I was like, I was started laughing. I said, oh, no, no, no. So he's not the greatest chief. So to me, I would say Pushmataha, Apokshinubi, and of course, uh, Mashula Tubby. All these three chiefs tried to work and keep the people here. Uh, Andrew Jackson and of course 
uh, Green Willow, Florida. I said, did they give it, did us a uh, favor or did they do something for us that, you know, the Choctaws think we're going to grow or think we're going to die off, you know? But if they see it today as who we are today, as strong Choctaws, we're bigger than ever. You know, we're the third largest nation. And of course, we've got Choctaws here, our brothers here in our homeland. So this is their home right here. So this is our home too, still as well. And of course, they tried to, the, the Trail of Tears didn't end in that time, it ended in 1903. So there's other tribes that came from the south of Mississippi, because Choctaws that stayed back here, some went south. But some went on the train, went to Meridian, head on towards Dallas and to Ardmore. That's where me and Brad's family came along in that era and around Ardmore. So, and it came along that time. So in 1903, they, they ceased the uh, Trail of Tears. There was no more routes after that. So either, either way, we're still Choctaws, Choctaws in your blood, and this is where your ancestors came from.